I'm Jeff with ArmadillaPepper.com. It's the 4th of July and today we're going to do a brisket in the Masterbuilt smoker. We're going to do two things today. We're going to smoke this brisket and then we're going to make a dipping sauce to go along with it. All right, what I've got here is a uh, brisket flat that I picked up from Publix. Um, it's just a little bit less than two and a half pounds. You can see they did a pretty good job. There's not a lot of fat on it. I, I trimmed a little over here. That's about all I'm going to do to it. And I'm going to season this guy with this Stubbs beef seasoning. And I'm going to go pretty heavy because I'm hoping to get that nice um, dark bark on the outside. When I do a brisket, I always like to season it the night before. So once I get this guy seasoned up real nice, I'll uh, put it in a pan and cover it and then get it in the fridge and we'll pick this back up tomorrow morning. Okay, you can see this brisket is darkened up quite nicely after sitting in the fridge all night from that rub. And I am going to inject this one today. Just got regular old beef broth. I'm just going to go in here about every inch or so. Okay. And now it probably doesn't need too much. I'm just going to touch it up a little bit with this rub. For the smoking wood today, I'm using this Jack Daniels uh, Whiskey Barrel Chips. This is oak. You can smell the whiskey on it as soon as you get it out of the bag. No, I'm not going to soak it in water. I've done it both ways in this master build over the years. And I don't really see any major advantage uh, in, the, in the final product. Um, the other thing is we'll be smoking today at 225 degrees. All right, let's get this guy in the smoker. The other thing I'm going to do is place this tray under here to catch any drippings. What I'm planning to do later is make a sauce. In about an hour and a half, I'm just going to mix this with some of that beef broth. And the only reason is, is I read that if it's moist on the outside, it'll absorb more smoke. And I want a nice smoky flavor to this guy. Right about two and a half hours. Just gonna, one more time, maybe two more times, moisten this up with the beef broth. It's been right around four and a half hours. This guy's right around 155. I wish I had some live foil, but I don't. I'm going to pour just a little beer in here. You could certainly use apple juice if that's what you wanted. So let's see, this is a 12 ounce bottle and I may have used a third of it, so uh, four ounces maybe. Okay. We want to make sure we get this wrapped up nice and tight. I'm going to double or triple wrap it because I've got this thin, narrow foil. Alright, I'm just going to put this guy back in here. And then we're going to take these drippings out so I can make a sauce later. This guy's right at about 100, 202, 203. Now I'm just going to wrap this in foil again where I poke that hole to check the temperature. Okay. Now I'm going to wrap this guy in this towel. 
Don't need it for another couple hours. Just put this guy down in this cooler. Let it sit for a couple hours until we need it. Okay, let's make this sauce for this brisket. I'm going to try to use this same pan so I don't have to wash another one. And um, what I've got here is uh, one cup each of apple cider vinegar and uh, beef broth. I'm just going to pour a little bit in here and deglaze the bottom of this pan first. Hoping I can get my naked in this. Go ahead and pour the rest of this beef broth, half the cider vinegar in. I'm just going to simmer this. And I've got about three quarters of a cup of ketchup. Spoon each, salt and pepper. One chopped shallot. And I've got the rest of that beer we had from earlier. I don't know, maybe half of a 12 ounce beer. A pinch of ghost pepper for a little spice. Hey, you can use cayenne or whatever you have at your house. We don't have cayenne and habanero. We only have things like ghost pepper, Carolina Reaper, some fatalis. Put a couple tablespoons brown mustard, a couple teaspoons, maybe three teaspoons of Worcestershire. Okay, let's bring this to a boil and then start reducing it. Okay, this is reduced down by about half and it's really starting to thicken up. I think we'll get this off here. Alright, this brisket has been in the cooler for about two hours. It's plenty hot. The towel's still hot. If I can find it. <laughs> Okay, here. Yeah, that works great. It's hot. Boy, I wish you had smell of it because it smells great. Okay, been waiting all day for this. Okay, grains running that way. Tell you one thing, it's tender. Have a look here. Okay, just to recap what we did here, we seasoned this brisket with some Stubbs rub, left it in the fridge overnight. Then we put it in the smoker 225 degrees using whiskey oak chips, misted it three times over the first three hours, 
When the brisket got to 150, 55 degrees, we wrapped it in foil and then took it on up to 203, 204 degrees F. Then we took it out of the smoker, wrapped it in a towel, and put it in a cooler for two hours until it was ready to serve. Okay, it's time to give this brisket a try. You can see it just pulls apart so easily. Mm. You know, mm. I waited all day for this and it was definitely worth it. Very moist, that nice beefy flavor. Let's try that sauce we made. Oh man, that sauce is great. I'll be making some brisket sandwiches with these. Oh, sorry for eating in front of you. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. If you liked what you saw today, I hope you hit that subscribe button so you'll see all of our new episodes. Have any questions? You have any feedback? Leave us a comment.